Hello, my name is Mohan Sani, and I'm a professor at Northwestern's Kellogg School of Management. I've had the pleasure of working with Wobi over several years and have given in-person seminars in a wide variety of locations around the world on topics ranging from marketing, innovation, artificial intelligence, and disruption. Talking about disruption, clearly we are living in very, very disruptive times. It seems like a cold winter has descended where we are all hunkered down in our homes and waiting for this storm to pass. But if we think of ourselves as hunters, as fishermen, a good hunter doesn't waste the winter. When the hunting season is lean, they spend time sharpening their spear. A good fisherman just doesn't wait for the time when the fishing is good. When the fishing is not good, they sit down and they mend their nets. They repair their boats and they wait so that they are ready that when the hunting is good and when the fish are running, they are ready. I think we need to do the same thing as business leaders. We need to sharpen our spear. We need to mend our nets and we need to position ourselves for the upturn in demand that is going to come. So how should you do this? There are a number of strategies that I suggest that business leaders think about. First thing is invest in talent now. If you do have the cash, if you do have the resources to be able to recruit talent, there is a lot of talent that is available that is really where people have been let go where their skills are underutilized. And this talent doesn't only exist in your industry. Think about cross placement. So for example, while there are a lot of people being let go in the retail industry and in the airline industry, in the hospitality industry, we have a lot of demand for teachers, for uh, healthcare workers. So don't just look at job titles and industries, try to focus on the skill sets at the granular level and see if you can redeploy. For instance, Aldi in Germany has hired many workers from McDonald's. So think about such creative arrangements for acquiring talent, for cross-hiring talent. The other thing I would strongly recommend is that invest this time in building up the talent that you have, in skilling up the people, because you know we have been going through disruption for a while. Technologies like the digital technologies, artificial intelligence and machine learning are creating a lot of disruption in the marketplace. So this disruption in business models and the, the application of digital networks and artificial intelligence and machine learning is something that we've been undergoing for a while. So this is a good time to step back and think about how are we going to transform ourselves? How are we going to transform our business models? How can we think innovatively? And how can we train our people? And while they have time on their hands, how can we invest in their development so that we are ready when the demand does come, we are a more efficient organization, we are a transformed organization, we have the skill sets. This is something that I am doing myself. We at, at the Kellogg School of Management have been forced to rethink all of our executive education programs because in-person executive education is completely shut down. So I have innovated by creating online executive programs, programs in digital marketing, in product strategy, in artificial intelligence. And these programs are doing really well as people have time on their hands to learn uh, online. Not only that, I have taken some of that learning and have created for our executive MBA, a course on artificial intelligence that actually combines the recorded content that I have in the online programs with live sessions. So it's a hybrid learning experience that I've created. And this hybrid learning experience may become the model for executive education and executive MBAs in the future. So invest this time in development, invest this time in innovation, invest this time in disruption, because someday when this fog lifts, when the lockdowns end, and when demand comes roaring back, you are ready, just like the hunter who has a sharpened spear and just like a fisherman whose nets are mended and ready to go. So I hope that this is a message of inspiration. This is a message of really innovation and disruption that you can create. So I sometimes say, never waste a good crisis. This may be a crisis, we may be going through very difficult times, but within the seeds of disruption 
and destruction are the seeds of creation. So let's look at this phenomenon as creative disruption, creative destruction, and let us build the business models and organizations of the future. So I wish you all well, stay safe, stay healthy, and this too shall pass.